but you might have to dodge the rain when you do. Taking a live look from the Sunset Marina in Ocean City right now, looks beautiful there. Those boats are docked, the crowds are moving in. It's a big weekend in Ocean City as this year's White Marlin Open is underway. It is the world's largest and richest billfish tournament. 318 boats are participating in this year's event with an estimated $8.5 million. Can you believe that in prize money on the line? Will the weather hold up for those competing in this year's White Marlin Open? And j look at those boats trying to yeah. beat the heat. Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley joined us. Also, the weather affects fishing, I would imagine, whether yeah. the fish are deep or whether they're surface. I don't know. I'm not a pro. But. Well, it looks like the, this probably is going to be one of the best days because the conditions are going to get worse as the week goes on because we're going to be watching Debbie, which is going to give us some much-needed rain. Right. Well, we also have a severe threat tomorrow evening. As you know, we've already had a couple of days of that Friday and Saturday. Looks like we've got more on the way here as we go into tomorrow evening. So let's talk about that. We've got alert days for tomorrow as well as Friday and Saturday. Potential for some showers and storms that could cause some issues across the area. Right now, first alert Doppler radar is dry. We saw a couple of showers that popped up across Anne Arundel County this afternoon, but really what we're going to be focus on, focusing on is tomorrow evening with this severe storm threat. It's not a big threat for severe weather, but any of the storms that do pop up will do what the ones on Friday and Saturday did, produce a lot of wind as well as uh, lots of heavy rain and as well as some lightning as well. Uh, but later in the week, though, we got some drought busting rain on the way, and that's all courtesy of Debbie, and that's going to start spraying into our area as early as Wednesday evening, Thursday, but it looks like Thursday, Friday, Saturday going to be very wet across the area. Across your neighborhood right now in the metro, we're looking at 90 for Towson, 90 Southgate, Glen Burnie at 92 degrees, Howard County 91 for Ellicott City, as well as Columbia and out in Carroll County, we're looking at temperatures around 90 for Finksburg and across the rest of the area, eastern shore, upper 80s to around 90, 95 right now, the warm spot out in Frederick. So skies tonight will be mostly clear. Temperatures still in the 80s through midnight tonight will be in the mid to upper 70s for for most areas by tomorrow morning. And then we're going to keep a close eye on a front that's causing these storms to fire up across upstate New York. That's going to drop closer to our area tomorrow. Therefore, we have a level one of five. You can see the scale here at the top of your screen. It's a low end threat for some storms that could produce damaging wind gusts as well as heavy downpours. Also lots of lightning with these storms. Again, level one of five, so not a significant risk, but it does exist here for tomorrow. We'll time it out for you. Future cast, partly cloudy skies in the morning. Here come the storms that'll flare up tomorrow afternoon and evening. They'll start off in Pennsylvania, track closer to our area here by late tomorrow evening and to early tomorrow night. They should weaken as they get closer, but this front's going to hang up across the area, give us chances for rain even into Wednesday morning, scattered storm chances in the Wednesday afternoon, and here comes the moisture from Debbie as it spreads northward. It is going to be a very, very wet first part of the weekend and latter part of the week. As you can see, the track is going to be very slow, but eventually it makes its way up towards our area by Friday into Saturday. And that's where we could see upwards of four or five inches of rainfall, particularly for areas along and east of I-95. You can see this is through Sunday evening. Look at all this uh, purple and orange and red we've got on here. That's in excess of three to four inches of rainfall across our area. We could use it. We just don't need it all at once. We'll be watching that flood threat as we go towards later in the week. For uh, Anne Arundel County tomorrow, we've got uh, Annapolis tomorrow getting up to uh, the mid to upper 80s to around 90 degrees. I think the storm threat for Annapolis holds off till a little bit later. Areas up near Glen Burnie, Severn will be a little bit earlier in the evening, but you see across the rest of Anne Arundel County, we've got low 90s from Crownsville down towards Lothian. So here's your first alert, seven day forecast. Alert day tomorrow for severe weather. Storm chances continue Wednesday, Thursday. Alert day for Friday and Saturday for the heavy rain and flooding, possibly with the remnants of Debbie and then we dry things out Sunday into early next week. Back to you. All right, thank you, Derek. Well